Hi, right, Ashley, how you doing? Let's go ahead and take a look. I've got your, your work up right here for our house. And we're looking pretty good. Great logo, nice job. Let's go ahead and reduce the size here a little bit. I want to go through this. There's a few things that are missing, and I'll go through that definitely. But let's go ahead and take a look. So I've got the PDF up here. Um, okay, target audience. Good job. But that's a widow, by the way. You don't want to include that. You want to, to adjust that. Um, target audience, main the three main functions. Excellent. Our house. And then you have your, your comparative competitive analysis here, which is fantastic. Uh, and this is definitely something that you'll use in your final process book. So this is great. Now, if we take a look at the deliverables for this week, we can see that there are several things missing. Specifically, if we go to the assignment page itself, which is right here. Um, week two, pro, uh, week two, project two, the assignments page. <clears throat> Excuse me. We can see that we want to include personas and scenarios. We want to include wireframe sketches of all screens, and then you want to include your storyboards for the um, scenarios. Then you're going to create paper prototypes and photograph and post for your critiques. So we need all of that. Um, preferably, I mean. Yeah, I could do if you get that in there now we can critique and comment before Sunday otherwise we're just stuck getting straight grading on Sunday so it would be best for you to go ahead and post this stuff here so I can comment on it for your final submission on Sunday or if you just to elect to, to to adjust this for final submission on Sunday that's fine too whatever way you want is perfectly fine with me but I want to draw your attention to the announcements area of the class, okay? Specifically in the announcements, there's a week two assignment examples. You definitely want to take a look at those. Definitely take a look at those. Um, and then also the weekly announcement, um, which is right here. Welcome to week two. Videos, all sorts of stuff in here. You definitely want to take a look at that. And, and, and here's what we're looking for for this week. Um, so you're going to establish this target audience, three main functions of the app, the competitors, um, and then establish personas and scenarios. And I recommend three, I recommend three personas and, and, and a scenario for each. So I recommend three personas and three scenarios. You want to create wireframe sketches of all screens and then create your storyboards to depict each scenario. Then, of course, you want to create paper prototypes, photograph, and, po and post for for critique. So this is really important. All this stuff gets in included because we're moving to the testing stage next week. So if you want some good examples, so in, in, in remember I said in the course announcements I have these examples right here. We'll take a look at those. This one here, this is example one, I think. Wait, this is example two. This is a, does a really great job um, showing scenarios. Um, the, these are storyboards of scenarios. So there's two storyboards. One depicts what the scenario without the app and the problem. And then the other shows the storyboard with the app and how that overcomes the problem. Then you want to include wireframe sketches. These are wireframe sketches of all screens. Okay. And then you want to create your um, your your paper prototypes. Now, of course, your paper prototypes are based on your um, a detailed wireframe. Okay, so all the screens should be depicted. And basically, what you do is, is you're going to test by taking these different screens, asking the viewer to, to do some sort of function and point to where they would, uh, um, uh, where they think that they should press to achieve that function or to start the process. So, in other words, you, you would cut out all of these and place them in the screen, and you would say, okay, show me. To, to your viewer, uh, your user tester, you'd say, okay, show me where you would press to log in. And they would press it, you would record it and move on accordingly, okay? So we definitely need our uh, paper prototypes. And I think one of the examples here does a good job. Here's your paper prototypes. This is what I'm talking about right here. So you, 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 you kind of put a screen in there in the mock-up telephone, uh, the mock-up cell phone, put a screen in there, ask them to perform some function, they'll press the function, you'll change the screen, and then ask them to perform some other function. So they, they, they can only get it right or they can get it wrong. So if they get it wrong, you would record that and make adjustments to the screen to make it easier. If they get it right, you would record that and move on. Okay? All right, so uh, those are my recommendations, and those are what we'll be looking for in the final submission for Sunday. But it's really, really, really important 
that we get all of these, and I'm over here on the Welcome to Week 2 a course announcement page, but you got to get all of these included in your process book. Um, and this all has to be done. It's really, really important that we don't let any of this go because we are going to start user testing next week. So all of this stuff has to be in place. Okay, so week two really is where the rubber hits the road in this class. So it's a lot to do during week two. So I'll tell you what, if you have any questions at all, um, or if I can provide any clarification, please let me know. I'll be glad to do so. But thank you very much for including those.